my name is Wellwood Beale. I want to tell you about one of my proudest achievements, the Boeing B-314 Clipper. You have to understand that back in the 30s, our big challenge was building a passenger plane that could cross the oceans. Pan American Airways needed a plane that could fly to Asia and Europe and make a profit too. Before the B-314, other aircraft like the Martin M-130 China Clipper were flying to Asia. But we needed a bigger, better flying boat. In 1934, the Boeing Aircraft Company in Seattle sent me to China to help sell their airplanes there. If anything can inspire you to design an airplane that can cross an ocean, it's crossing the Pacific on a boat. It took weeks. I began thinking about how to build a plane that could fly to China. By the time I got back home, I learned that Pan American Airways wanted a plane that could fly 2,400 miles without refueling at 150 miles per hour against a headwind of 30 miles an hour and, oh yes, she had to carry a payload of people, mail, and cargo. It had to be a flying boat because in the 30s, few cities had airports that could handle big land airplanes. We were lucky in that parts of the plane, the big wing in particular, were already part of a Boeing design for a huge experimental bomber called the XB-15. When the Wright Aircraft Engine Company announced their big new twin cyclone engine, which developed 1,500 horsepower, I knew we could make the concept work. And the B-314 was particularly impressive inside. She had two decks. The pilots, flight engineers, navigators, radio officers worked and rested in shifts on the spacious flight deck. Passengers had a luxurious lower deck. There was only one class first. The Boeing company only built 12 B-314s. Pan Am had to pay almost 1.4 million for each of the nine they bought. That's about 50 million in today's money. They started flying to Europe and Asia in 1939. It wasn't long before World War II began. Without those few B-314s, America would have been caught short as far as long-range transoceanic air transport. Those planes flew hundreds of vital missions carrying not just important people, but critical cargo too, and helped us win the war. Of course, we knew that the days of flying boats were coming to an end. Soon airports with long paved runways were built around the world, so flying boats became obsolete. But for a short time, those B-314s were something like Aladdin's magic carpet. Someone said, 50 years from now, people will look back on a clipper flight of today as the most romantic voyage of history. I think they had that right. <laughs> 